So we have confession story time. In this section, for persons who are not familiar, basically it's where persons will post their confessions online. We can either read stories or listen to stories and then we can talk about it after our thoughts and our takeaways. Just have an uh, open discussion, respectful discussion. So we have two stories in this section, right? Both of them we have to listen to. One story has two parts, but there is a separate story after that one. They're labeled, so it will help you to follow along. I'm gonna play it, so let me know if you can hear it. So this is story one, part one. I want to share my happiness with you. I landed my dream job and apartment, and I can finally leave my cheating husband. Husband 39 and I 35, met 10 years ago. He was up until last year the love of my life. He was my rock and I his. We shared the same interests, humor and views. We also were child free. I own a little sandwich shop that was fairly popular near huge office buildings. I loved my job and I was so content. I made good living. My husband is an engineer. When COVID hit and people started working from home, my business went down pretty quickly and by the fall of 2020 I had to close for good. I still did some catering gigs but not near enough to have a decent source of income. My husband said that I shouldn't be worried because he could support both of us. I went back to college, HR management, a three years program. Around the same time as all that happened my husband confessed to me that he might have changed his mind about being child free, something that I had noticed before he confessed. I loved my husband very much and I had started noticing him around friends and family members who have small children, he was so adorable, and to be honest without my very hectic job, I also started thinking the same. We had our son November last year, the best thing that ever happened to me, but just three weeks after I gave birth my husband came to me and confessed that he cheated on me. It felt like the ground opened from under me. How could that be possible? He was my love and I was his. Wasn't I? He apologized and tried to blame it on the pandemic, on being bored at home on being scared to be a father on midlife crisis. He loved me and he didn't want to lose me. I felt so trapped with a small baby that needed me, no job and no place to go. Good job hubby, you sure knew when to deliver this blow. A week later he asked me what I thought about opening the marriage. Humans aren't meant to stay monogamous and while he still loved me more than anything in the world he didn't find me enough. I started crying and begged him not to humiliate me. If he just gave me some time, we could divorce and go our separate ways. He said he wasn't interested in divorce. He didn't want to replace me. Just add some new excitement into our relationship. Two weeks later he came home with her and told me that she's moving in with us. At 26 years old that he met at work. He started showing her the apartment and explained how important it was for me to have everything clean and tidy all the time and that she should abide by that. She was smiling the whole time. He took her to the guest bedroom. She's been living with us ever since. I moved to my son's room and put locks on and I've been living with my baby for almost a year now. Rare. So hold on. That's just part one. I'm going to play part two, guys. The first of the story. And I've been living with my baby for almost a year now. Rarely existing in the common areas beside preparing for my catering gigs. The girlfriend moved eventually into my bedroom with my husband. He warned me that this would happen if I refused to move back. Funny how we can adjust so fast and find small pleasures even in the most difficult times. Having my baby and seeing him grow has been my biggest comfort, him and my studies. After a few months my husband gave up trying to talk to me outside of matters concerning our son. He finally realized neither fighting, tantrums nor love bombing worked on me and most importantly he stopped trying to get intimate with me, beside the occasional I love you or I miss you text sometimes with sex while he's literally on the other side of the wall. His girlfriend kept her distance from me and I was thankful for that. She moved out a few times after they would fight. I don't know the details but I would guess that she wanted exclusivity, oh, the irony. She always showed up again after a couple of days. I acted like I didn't notice any of it. I have one year left of my studies but after my internship, practicing semester, at a big firm, my boss offered me a paid internship. It's a full-time job starting in January. It would mean work and study full-time but I know that I will manage. I'm just so happy. This means that I now have the means to find my own place and I did. A small studio, 32 square meters. I'm moving November 1st. I will have to break the news eventually to my husband that I'm moving out and filing for divorce. I don't want to tell him right now but once I start packing he will probably understand anyway. I don't know what his reaction would be. Ideally he would be relieved but somehow I doubt it. Right now he thinks I'm bound to him for at least another year because of my studies and he's still acting like I'm his wife. I have been so lucky this far and hopefully my moving out and divorce won't be any different. I haven't been this happy in many months and I wanted to share it somewhere since nobody in my surrounding knows what I have gone through.
All right, all right, all right. So that was the end of the story. What do you guys think about that situation? How would you have handled it had you been in her, you know, shoes? Like, how would you have gone about it? Raise your hands, guys. Raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. <laughs> what do you mean you're outnumbered? Not commenting on this, I'm outnumbered. Davin, suddenly I really want to hear what you're thinking. What you guys think about this? How would you, how would you have handled it? How would you have dealt with it? Nobody's raising their hand. Nobody. There's a hand in the comment section. Two All hands, right, actually. I just see. So, Lewin, go ahead. I, I don't think I'll be able to cope with this one. I think a lot of times when women find themselves where they need to divorce pride sets in where they are afraid to go back home or ask for help but uh, in her position i think for her mental health and for the well-being of the child she seems strong enough where she's mapped out what she has to do but i think in staying in that environment the longer you stay is the more your mind tell you to do some very hurtful things. So the best thing to do is to get out, um, try to find the best um, resources, meeting family, friends that you can rely on, and then get on with your legal actions. All right, thank you very much for that. Dalvin, I'm really curious, you know, I'm really, really curious. I'm really curious. Ethan, the last time you said that you should come back with the thoughts. You circle back now. You can share. Danny, do you have any insight um, on that? It was about the music thing. So this is not the music thing. I, was just <laughs> I know it was about the music thing, but you have anything you can share on this topic at hand? Um, first of all, I didn't hear the first part of the story, so I'm not going to comment. You didn't hear the first part of the story? Okay. What about you, LJ, right. Celia, Christopher? Chrisan, no hands. So no one has anything to say. Here, Ashley. Ashley, why are you come attack Galvin? Go ahead, Ashley. I see your hand is raised. Uh, I really just have like one little comment to say. Um, this couldn't be in Jamaica. No way. Um, that dude, from even seeing COVID, I bet the time just go lay down in them grave. Like no woman. Actually, I beg to disagree. I beg no. to disagree. No, 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 Jam no Jamaican woman in our No, no, no. You I can't don't know. Nowadays, a Jamaican situation. No, no. Like don't, don't. nowadays, nowadays, no crazy. <laughs> No, I'm going to give you an example, Ashley. So there's this lady in my community. She has five kids with this man. He went overseas on farm work and he found a white girl. So the baby mother was out here with the five kids. He married the white girl and moved her down. He moved the baby mother in the room with the pit in them and him and the white girl there at the front room. So it is possible. And they are living happily. They are happily living together now. I don't know how they do it, but they're doing it. So it actually happened in Jamaica too. So it's not just... Uh, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen out here. But like, if you book are like a real Jamaica woman, you know what I want to know? Please, so you're like, saying, saying that, you're there. saying that others uh -huh. are fake? You're saying that they are fake uh -uh. Jamaica? I'm not saying, saying that they're different fake. views. But you just no, it depends on family. how they view relationships. You have some females who say, like, you can't do that in no relationship. You know, those hardcore females, like, ugh. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. You All I can say, though, about. Ashley, is it really comes down to what each person is willing to accept in a relationship. You can't generalize it and say, no woman or no real woman. Like, that's not fair because everybody's looking for different things. Everybody has different um, tolerance. Everybody wants, you know, different interests. So you can't generalize it. Um, Miss McGowan, hi. Saw your beautiful hand raised. Go ahead. Um, Jaylian, I was just seeking clarity if it's a case where the baby mother and the five kids them are in one same room. Yeah, that might actually clarify. And no, they're not in the one there. room. They're not in the one room, but the wife and the man, they're in the front room, the room 
that the mother and the father once occupied. So the okay, mother is and... right at the back of the house now. Okay, and also, I, yes, I, you can before out here, he came in the star some time back, where I think one man, a guy in country, he had his two women that live with him, and they were okay with it. Yeah. 